before we get into this, I want to wish fathers a happy Father's Day. And I want to give a special Father's Day salute to Aubrey and Isaiah. Now, this story about Diana Patrinko, a Ukrainian boxer winning silver place, raising the Azov Nazi flag. Since the beginning of this war, I have been sounding the alarm, me, have been sounding the alarm on who the Ukrainian military actually is. I've done countless live streams, two hour live streams, three hour live streams, discussing in detail, in depth about the Azov Battalion, about the military that's fighting for Ukraine. People did not want to listen, even though I showed receipts after receipts after receipts. I even questioned why black content creators don't talk about this. Why am I the only black content creator talking about this? Why am I one of the few or maybe only black content creator that's talking about the war in Ukraine? It's pathetic. So I'm not surprised at seeing Diana Patrinko. Yes, she's young, but she knows what she is doing. I wouldn't put it past her family, maybe her mother, her father, telling her to do that. One of the reasons why I waited a few days because I wanted to see if any pro-blacks we're going to do some commentary on this. I can't find any. If you know of a pro-black who talked about this, email the story to me. But I combed the internet because I knew black people were going to be all over this story. Because the liberal media is telling Americans to support Nazis. That's what this boils down to because that's who you're supporting when you're waving the Ukrainian flag you're not Ukrainian when you're getting mad at content creators like Organic the Blade Runner telling you that you're supporting Nazis and you've been supporting the Democrat Party who has been signing over billions of dollars billions of dollars to Ukraine and black Americans are still talking about reparations. This is why I said, well, are the pro blacks talking about this? Of course not. Because in order for them to talk about this, they have to admit that they've been supporting white supremacy. So they're not going to bring this up. If you want to hear commentary on Things like this, you got to come here. Unfortunately, you have to come here because the pro-black talks black, but he not really about it. And that's 98% of pro-blacks on YouTube. Anytime you're listening to a pro-black talk about white supremacy and he or she isn't trying to assemble a military, don't listen to him. You talking about what you're going to do to white supremacy on their YouTube platform with no army. You can't take them serious, especially when they accept donations for a museum. And he doesn't even talk about the museum. He doesn't even talk about Azov. He doesn't even talk about this viral story here. Search around YouTube and see how many black people are talking about the story. One of the reasons why black people can't talk about the story is because their finances are tied up in YouTube. So they can't talk about stories like this in fear of being demonetized or their video being flagged. Now, I understand that none of us want our video flagged. 
But as a black person, you can't talk about this. You're too scared to talk about this. And if you think black content creators will talk about this, you're mistaken. The first is coming up. Rent is due. This is not going to get them any views or donations, so they're not going to touch it. Maybe in the beginning of the month or the middle, but near the end, straight gossip. That's where the algorithm is. So when you hear these guys talk about black this, the black problem, the black struggle, these guys and gals talk about the black problem, the black struggle, and they don't bring this story up here. You, you got to start making people show and prove. You got to show and prove. If you got a problem with white supremacy, we need to see that in your artwork. We need to see that in your commentary. We need to see that in your YouTube videos. And if you got a problem with white supremacy, here you go right here. But you have a lot of content creators who know this and speak on it. Asian, white, they don't talk about Azov. It's like you're not supposed to talk about Azov. You're not supposed to talk about the Nazi flag. Is it a silent rule? Is there something going on that I don't know about? But I notice a lot of Americans leave this out. And another reason why Americans of all colors, all races leave this out when they discuss, if they discuss or when they discuss what's going on in Ukraine, because many Americans are in fact liberals. So they're not going to say my party has taken billions of dollars during a recession. America is in a recession and a mental crisis. Take billions of dollars, billions of dollars, and hand it over to Ukraine. Which further worsened the supply chain. The reason why we have a supply chain issue is because of Joe Biden. That's why. Because instead of taking care of home, the USA, he's focused on Ukraine, China, and other things that he is getting beat at. Because if you're so focused on those things, you should be advancing and he's not. He's funding Nazis. You hear the American media talk bad about Nazis. They don't have a problem with Nazis. Because if you had a problem with Nazis, you went to war with the Nazis in World War II, you should not be funding these Nazis. Joe Biden should not have the ability. He should not have enough power to fund anything because he solely wants to fund them. Forget what the American people are saying. Joe Biden has his own special interest. So therefore, he's going to continue to get away with what he's getting away with. Joe Biden should be impeached. This is criminal. And it goes to show you how America really gets down. Listen, you don't have to go into books to see what America is doing. All you have to do is get the right news. The most accurate news, because you can't trust all news. Even if you're pro-American, I believe all Americans are pro-American, but if this country is doing things that this country has no business doing, we should know. We should not want to turn a blind eye. And that's what a lot of Americans have been doing. They don't want to accept the fact that this country behaves like this. This country has a track record. You have a lot of Americans in denial. The fact that Joe Biden is not called out on a larger scale. Now, he's being called out. But the international media is calling him out more than the American media. That's a problem. So you mean to tell me the international media can see this, but Americans and the American media can't see this? No. Americans are in denial. Americans are in denial. That's what it is. And that's why, for the most part, no one is calling Joe Biden out for ruining this country, 
this country's reputation. America is telling China about their human rights violations. And Joe Biden has been funding Nazis. This is one of the reasons why I believe that Joe Biden is trying to hire a lot of black faces in his cabinet. Because he's going to get hammered on this by the right candidate. And I'm going to tell you guys something. Whatever Republican battles Joe Biden and he or she does not bring this up, you can't take them serious. They got to bring this up. This is a knockout punch for Joe Biden. You have to take this story, this evidence, and use it the right way on him. And that's a knockout punch. The liberal media won't be able to do anything about it. On top of the other information that will be flooding out. Diana Petrinko is 16 years old. 16. Raising a Nazi flag. Now, listen. If she wants to be a Nazi, that's on her. I don't care if she wants to be a Nazi. But you're not going to tell me that the Nazis is for the good. No, they're for the good of their own people. I have no problem with that. But I'm not going to support it. You're not going to tell me that being a Nazi is a good thing. Because... When you hear people on the news, they explain it. They try to make it seem like it's just tribalism. They'll paint the picture. They'll paint the narrative that this is tribalism. They want to be with their own kind. But real Nazism, they want to conquer. They want to take out any race that's not pure white. So you can't paint them. If you know the truth about the far right, if you know the truth about Nazis, you can't paint them like they're just defending their land. No, if they had the same military that Russia has, they would have invaded Russia a long time ago. Facts. So don't try to get on the news, meaning these newscasters, because they've been doing a lot of flip-flopping and dancing. That lets you know about how many, many people feel about race. The fact that they will leave this type of information out. It took a 16-year-old Ukrainian boxer to go viral for taking a picture with the Nazi flag. Obviously turned upside down or sideways. I just knew Many, many content creators were going to have a discussion on this. Nope. But that's okay. But it showcases where Americans are at mentally. Not a good place. People should take notes. People should be alarmed that this type of information is not out more. Now, you've had news outlets put out the information, but look how hard you have to search to find it. You have to dig, you have to search because this isn't put in the forefront on Google, on different search engines when they bring up the news or they have the news cycle. This is why people get their news from international outlets. Because they're not perfect, but they do tell more truth. The Nazis, the Nazi ideology, they want to dominate. They want to dominate. If you're not pure white, quote unquote, you're no good. You need to be exterminated. And that's who... The Democrat Party, even black Democrats should be called out because they've been telling black Democrats and Americans to support Ukraine. They should all lose their 
jobs. But Americans are fast asleep, so that's not going to happen. So we can sit on social media and blame and talk about these politicians, these presidents, the people who's in charge. But until the American wakes up, actually do his and hers research, you can't stop anything. The only way you can stop it is replace these people. And the average American isn't politically savvy. They don't understand politics. The Democrats know this. So what they do is flood the country with immigrants, give them voting rights, and they can help keep the Democrats in office. So if Americans attempt to counter, attempt to get these politicians, for the lack of better words, out of office, the immigrant vote will outweigh the American vote, or at least the American vote in places like California, places like Washington State, ultra-liberal regions, ultra-liberal regions, because you have a lot of conservatives that do have numbers in these ultra-liberal regions, but because of the influx of undocumented immigrants and they're able to vote, they're able to influence election results, winners and losers, you're outnumbered. Now I wanna say this and I'm going to close this video out. I've noticed a influx of athletes and rappers wanting to do podcast here on YouTube. Podcast has blown up big time. You have people who feel like they have something to say, they want to be heard, and that's fine. It's all fair game. It's enough room for everybody. But pay attention. All of the podcasts that's out. But before I go there, I want to tell Black YouTube, you have to salute yourself because of Black YouTube and the numbers Black YouTube, certain content creators, and just Black YouTube in general, the type of views, the type of content, the type of notoriety that people are getting, just getting on YouTube and growing their audience. So now you have athletes and rappers and stars trying to do the same thing. And black YouTube, whether I talk to you or not, you should salute yourself because you're the origin of that creativity. But notice the amount of rappers, athletes doing podcasts. They only talk about gang violence. They only talk about other rappers, other stars. I understand that's their profession that they're in, but still, that's all they talk about. We don't have any black content creators talking about international news, educating the people. The average black person knows absolutely nothing about the world, nothing. Because there's no teachers in that field. Everything is gossip. Every We don't need any more podcasts with Big U and WAC 100 drama shit. And you wonder why your people have a problem with learning. It's not pushed. It's not pushed. It's not promoted at all. What's the use of having all of these black podcast outlets and all of them are gossiping? All of them are beefing. All of them are view chasing. Where are the teachers at? Nowhere. The only group of people on social media 
with more entertainers and teachers. And you wonder why stories like this, stories like 16-year-old Diana Petrinko goes viral and you can barely find any, any, well, not just go viral, go viral for holding a Nazi flag and you can barely find any person of color talking about it. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.